Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you an interactive demo of how you can create powerful data visualizations using the AI technology of OpenAI and the embedded analytics platform of Kumulio. You'll need a Kumulio account and you'll need to create an API key and token which you can do in your profile settings under API tokens. You will also need an OpenAI account where you will also be able to create an API key, uh, which you can do right here. And then you will also need to clone our GitHub repository with the GPT dashboard generation project. So now that you've created an API key and token for both um, Kumulio and OpenAI, you'll be able to um, create a folder on your computer where you want to store all of the uh, files that are associated to this project. So you'll navigate to that folder. Like I did right here. And this is where you can clone the GitHub repository that I showed you earlier in this video. So you'll just hit the command git clone with the repository and it will automatically clone this github repo then hit npm install and um, so this will have generated uh, a bunch of files in that folder that you created and here you'll also find a dot env file if you open that in any notepad or text editor um, you'll be able to add the API keys and tokens um, you created earlier on. All right, so now that you're set up, you can actually start running the script. So we'll do that again by navigating to the correct folder where you've stored the project. Um, navigate to this specific subfolder, GPT dashboard generation, which the git clone will have cloned into that folder you initially created. So we're here. Now you just input node dot. And as you can see, the script is listening for new Kumulio datasets. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to keep the script running. You can see that it's checking for new sets. And I'm going to switch to our Kumulio environment to add a new data set. All right, so our script is listening in the background to new data sets. So now you can add a new data set in Kumulio. You can navigate to the data sets tab click new data set right here and then you can choose from a bunch of options to create your own data set. You can connect any database that you have using one of our out-of-the-box connectors. You can upload a local file, a CSV file, a JSON file, um, whichever file type you have your data saved in. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect some demo data from um, our Kumulio platform. So I'm going to use a logistics data set here, import the data set. As you can see, it created a data set here. So our script is listening in the background. So if we navigate to the dashboards tab right now, we should hopefully see a dashboard has been created. As you can see right here, AI logistics data set visualization. Let's see what it generated. So it has um, generated quite a nice dashboard um, visualizing the average load capacity by country on a bar chart, total passengers by country, total seat capacity by vessel name, average passengers by direction. And you can see that a couple of charts aren't loading. So as you can see, you might have to give it a few tries, see what it generates, because again, uh, GPT is a text a language model, so it's going to generate different out output every single time. You can also like just delete these 
non-working charts from your dashboard. Keep the ones that you like, um, but it's a great way really to do data exploration and to find out which combinations of data you can visualize and in which ways you can visualize them. Cool. Let's try it again with a different data set this time. So you can head back to data sets, add a new data set, and now I'm going to upload a local file with um, all types of airline uh, data. So this new data set that we uploaded contains all sorts of data around uh, customer feedback from an airline. So again, a Huge opportunity here to auto create dashboards on huge data sets that have lots of different types of columns. As you can see here, it has yeah, over 20 different columns with lots of data. So it's very interesting to see which types of combinations um, GPT is, is going to come up with. So if we navigate to dashboards now, you'll see that again, it has generated a dashboard. So let's see what the output is. So we see delays by flight class, um, arrival delays, departure delays, leg room, um, online booking ease. So it's mostly visualized things by flight class. And as you can also see, it has visualized most of the data in bar charts. So this is also something you could add to the script if you wanted to, to uh, add into the prompt that uh, GP. GPT should generate um, a, a dashboard that contains a mix of data visualizations. You can also even specify which types of data visualizations you want in there. So there are still a lot of opportunities to play around with the script to improve it, to um, yeah, give your own, your own tweaks to it. Um, but it's a great way to generate a dashboard simply in one click. We've now covered everything you need to do in order to get started using the GitHub repo. If you are interested in learning more about the code behind this project and if you want to um, dive into it, make changes and really customize it to your specific use case, we'd recommend reading the blog post that goes through the different code parts of this project and um, what we did to get to this result. You can find a link to that blog as well as some technical resources that you may need in the description of this video. Enjoy!